So like what I said uh, earlier on That I'm going to be joined by uh, Helen Brandt From um, Grow Educate ECD Centers Which is a non-profit social enterprise They use a proven recipe for success to equip women to run five-star early childhood development ECD centers that are also financially sustain, uh, sustainable businesses. The initiative was born from a deep desire among a group of social entrepreneurs to address the lack of access to quality early childhood development ECDs. Helen, good afternoon and uh, welcome to Bush Radio. Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting me. Amazing. Uh, how's your day going? Brilliant. Thank you very much. Brilliant. All right. So now, first thing first, uh, when was uh, Grow Educate ECD Centers uh, established? So Grow Educate Centers is a, is a non-profit organization. We started over eight years ago working with women who run preschools and who want to run their preschools better but also run their preschools like businesses. So mostly we work with, we would say, a person who has a a heart for children and a head for business. We believe you need both if you want to run a really good preschool that will have an impact um, for many years. And uh, how did the idea uh, come about to open this uh, initiative? So um, our founder, Tracy Chambers, is a is a internationally awarded social entrepreneur. And she actually was running a non-profit organization called TCB or the Clothing Bank and works with women to help them run their own businesses in buying and selling clothing. And during that time, she um, she fell pregnant. She, mm. she was, it was a, a, a lot, let me tell you, she didn't expect to have a baby. And thinking about her child and the future of her child and the woman that she um, w- was working with and really loved and, and respected, she immediately saw that the, the gap between those who have and those who don't have, it starts with early learning. Hmm. And that it simply is a, a you know, we're, 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 we're failing a, a young generation of people when we are not giving them a quality early learning education. As South Africans, we, we are fascinated by and obsessed with matric certificates and tertiary certificates. Mm. But the most important time of your life for learning is between zero and six years. Mm. That's when your brain is growing. That's when you're like a sponge. You're learning new things. The, the when foundation. You're learning, uh, learning math skills, literacy skills, uh, life skills. Um, and so that really is where she she started thinking about how can we use the principles of business to support the people who are running ECD businesses so that they can deliver better quality mm. teaching in the classroom. Right. So um, you've been uh, um, uh, the the organisation has been up and running for for eight uh, eight years, like what you said. Yes. Um, up to now, how many centres have you opened, and are there still more to be opened? Yes. So mm. originally. We decided we needed to build a, a model. Let's call it a recipe. Mm. What does a recipe look like for running an excellent preschool that is also financially viable? When we say financially viable, it pays the people who work there fairly mm. and it can invest back into the education. It's not reliant mm. just on funders. You know, it can support itself. Mm. So we, we worked with um, preschools that we that we um, worked with directly, and those were grow, grow preschools, um, about 45 or 50 of them. Mm. And during the, these these first six, seven years, we tested the recipe to make sure we cover every single thing that you need to run a great center, whether it is the nutrition, the mm. curriculum, the equipment that you need, the training for the teachers, the assessment for learners, budgeting, financing, um, the infrastructure. Now that we know and we've tasted that this recipe works, mm. we want to make the recipe available to everybody, everybody in South Africa who mm. needs it. So it's not about grow centers anymore. It's mm. not about m- making a center a grow center. We don't w- work like that anymore. We now work with anybody mm. who runs their own preschool. They are an independent business person, and we will collaborate with them, partner with them, and make our tools, our systems, and our resources available to them. Uh, but they don't become grow preschools. 
uh, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. So okay. we're currently working with, um, we're, so there's about 45 grow preschools, okay. but across the country, uh, we are, we've already got, I think, sure, it's moving quite fast. I think we have 35 schools mm. that recently started using our grow quality education program, which oh. is the curriculum and the kits and the training for the teachers and over a thousand schools across the country. Oh, are already using our online tools, which is free. Oh, okay. So, if um, do you have any requirements? If someone wants to 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 be part of you, do you have? Sure. Any, yeah. Uh, do, you, do they have to submit anything? And um, what is it if they have to do? The the requirement is just that you must be running a preschool. Okay. So even if you are a daycare, a creche, ECD center, kindergarten, doesn't matter. Mm. You don't have to be registered with a department to be part of Grow. In fact, we want to help centers to achieve the norms and standards so that they can also become registered. So any preschool anywhere in South Africa can use our online tools for free. The, the, the one tool that is the most popular is our app. It's essentially like, um, like running your whole business from your phone. You know, a lot of centers don't have laptops and printers mm. and fancy equipment, but we all have phones. So, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of admin and management and reporting if you're running a preschool. So on the app, we help you to register your learners, do your enrollment, manage your finances, even access data free online training for your teachers. We have all a library of resources. So any policy, procedure, template or form that you need. Um, if you need advice on literacy activities for your classroom, it's all available for free to download from our app. Oh, and uh, what is the name of the app? Um, the, the app is called, mm, mm. Uh, if, you, if you're in Google Play Store, mm. you search for Grow Giraffe. Grow Giraffe ECD. So the ECD owner, we call, if you think about the jungle, mm. the giraffe, her, she has a tall neck. She mm, sees everything. Amazing. The lion will never attack her <laughs> because the giraffe is strong. From, she from oversees a, the whole, she oversees everything. From a <laughs> From above. Yeah. Uh, there's also an app for teachers, which mm. we call the Meerkat app. You know, the Meerkats, they are in the family, they protect the young ones. Mm. Um, and then there's a lion app. That is the one for the parent. So if your school is using these apps, mm. let's say you are the ECD owner, you can, for example, do a learner assessment and to see, are, are the children developmentally on track? How are they doing? And that report can go to the parent in the lion app. Mm. And the parent can see where is my child struggling? Where is my child doing well? Um, and, and we can start collaborating, getting parents more involved and supporting the whole ecosystem that's, um, that's raising the child. Right. So if you go onto uh, Google Play Store or App Store, uh, these apps are free. Correct, correct. So it is not available on and oh, sorry, it's not available on Apple yet. Okay. So currently it's only on Android. Mm. Um, and you search for Grow Giraffe. If you're having any trouble, mm. go to f- Facebook and look for Grow Educate Centers. Um, I'm happy to get your message on, on Facebook uh, at Grow Educate Centers, or you can visit the website, right. growecd.org.za. Uh, um, all the information is on there. Is on there. And uh, for someone who would love to uh, show some uh, support and uh, volunteer, mm. they come through and do so. But firstly, uh, do you take volunteers? You know what, because we work with children, we very rarely work with volunteers because anybody who works in a preschool must um, must pass a, what do you call it, like a police clearance okay. first. So mostly we don't work with volunteers in our preschools, um, but also because we're trying to create jobs. We're trying to really help the people who are working in this industry to earn a fair wage for the, for the work that they do. Hmm. All right, Andrew. and uh, to someone listening and uh, very interested uh, to join you guys to be part of you uh, yes. and to work with you, uh, how do they do that? Maybe you can repeat uh, your social media platforms or your website and maybe Absolutely. the contact number. Yeah. Yes, um, we have a website, growecd.org.za. We are on Facebook as Grow Educare Centers. We're also on Instagram and LinkedIn. Um, you can also email us, info hmm. at growecd.org.za All right. And uh, Helen, before I let you go, there might be someone listening and uh, is um, maybe uh, their passion is uh, with uh, to, to have an ECD or to work with uh, the early child development um, centers. Uh, what are your words of encouragement to them? 
Absolutely. Um, An investment in our children is extremely important, but we must also value the people who are who are giving us that service. So as South Africa, I think it is so important that we, we, start, we start valuing early learning. We're willing to pay for early learning because it's just as important as high school and matric and that we do not tolerate poor quality early learning. Mm. Early learning is not, a, is not a daycare. It's not a parking lot where we keep children while we offer to work. Mm. It is a time of their life where they must learn through play. Um, and, and that means we need to find good quality centers for our, for our children, and not settle for, for poor quality education. All right, Helen, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing this with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ah, the best.